Let's see. Did it save my thingy? Just toss up your TP, if you don't mind. Ask away. Ask away. Gotta redo my auras. Oh, actually, no, it kept my auras, surprisingly. Alright, we are ready to roll out. We are yep. close to... coming soon. You're hyping this guy up pretty hard right now. It's not even a boss, it's just a unique. Tim, cock block him with the two Tims. What? Yeah. Is he dead? Where is he? Okay, he just dragged me in. I don't even see where he's at. He's dragging me in. He's further in the room. Freaking cold, dude. Easy. Donzo. For now. Do the color of the gems, uh, like the color, convey, relate to a stat requirement for him? Like, is the green one stat? Yeah, green one is dex, uh, red is strength, blue is int. Helm there if anyone thinks that's an upgrade over there. Yeah. Touch the waypoint. And we are approaching the mid boss of this act. Not the final boss, the mid boss. Called Piety, aka DJ Piesto. That's what I like to call her. DJ Piesto. Yes. Why? 
It was a meme with uh, Athene back in the day. This is a decent. Ooh. I'm not strong enough. For that. This uh, one of the Marauders should. Get, that's a good helm, and you could, we're gonna need those resists when we're coming up. So one of you pick it up. Okay, hang on just a second here. Let's clear the box first. Get your tutums up. Gotta get mom soon. Need that mom. Actually, it might be back here. things I like to call titty bitches. They can be quite damaging if you get like garage with a bunch of their spikes at the same time. So just be mindful of that. Let's see. You can easily sidestep it because it's channeling. So they stuck channeling in the same direction. Silver coin. Uh, blue, 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 silken garb. Any of you guys need a blue, blue, blue? I need green, green, blue, red. Said blue, blue, green, green. Said blue, blue, green, green. Blue, blue, or green, green, blue, Random red. flask, that's what we want. That's what I need. We'll give up one of our quicksilvers. Granite flask too important. Uh, 40 life, 23 lightning resist. If your lightning resist is low, pick those up and use them temporarily for the next boss. You could check your resist in the character panel. seem to be doing much more damage now which is good my lightning resist is at 75 percent okay that's good what's your cold 75 percent okay that's max uh nami what's yours for c your mic's really soft too Man, this mind shit's pretty risky. You push C and then you click defenses. Uh, lightning is 61. And cold.
gold. Twelve. Ooh, you definitely want to get that up. I'll see if I could... I don't suppose you have any sapphire rings. No. Okay. That's quite a, yeah. a lot of dead bodies there. Yeah, we're approaching the mid-boss. Okay, um, let's see, we need to fix Yili's cold resist, because the boss is past that portal there, so hang on. On these two rings temporarily. And let me know what your cold resist, cold and lightning resists are. Your resist okay? Oh, I got rings. Uh, fifty nine for cold and 31 for lightning uh that's okay and uh uh pickle fifty and what Seventy. okay so we're gonna pop tps and so what she's gonna do she's gonna teleport around the room and if she she changes forms uh, if she changes to a fire form, she just tries to run up to you and hit you. Just try and run away. If she changes to the ice form, that's a little more scary. Uh, she fires out ice projectiles. Uh, a lot of them. So what we could do is we could line of sight them behind pillars. There's pillars throughout the room. And all you have to do is line of sight them and you'll be fine. If at any point in time... You need to TP out, feel free to use a TP. But uh, best best advice is to kind of keep close to a pillar so that when she teleports, you could kind of LOS her with the pillar. Sound good? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it up. Don't forget to drop portals. It's been a grand experiment, Chef. Time we saw the results. <laughs> She's in a fire form. Try to keep close to a pillar. She's gonna go ice. Pillar. Oh, fire, she's fire. Should I just run my resistance for it? Uh, it's, it's okay, just concentrate on surviving. She's up here. We're lucky she hasn't turned to ice yet. It's her deadliest form. She's fucking on my butt too. She's done so. Not too bad, right? Okay, you could put your normal rings back on, uh, Yili. 
and the two cold wings I gave you, just keep them in your stash in case we need to, in case you need to juice up your cold rest. And don't forget to pick up the green key she dropped. Once you do that, head to town. And you'll talk to this guy way over here west in the west side of town. And he'll give you not only one, but two skill points. I got one skill book point. Oh, it only gives you one? I guess they changed it. Used to give two. Goodbye. Now. Okay, well, so much for two. Happy to share my hard earned wish. How come I try and oh wait never mind. These are probably better gloves for us for the time being. Don't need those. And that could be good, maybe. I guess we'll wanna go crit, right? So we definitely want a dagger. Ideally. Uh, link me your guys' belts. All of yours. This belt goes to Unworthy Digger. That's an improvement. Thanks. Yep. So much for conductivity. Still didn't get your force off yet, huh? Me? No. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Let's proceed to Ebony Barracks. Waypoint Ebony Barracks when you're ready. We might need to do another point into clarity. sets of mines can we put? Looks like three sets of mines. Ready? Okay, Fickle will catch up. She's in the restroom, so let's uh, head out.
Jeez. Flask. Maybe since we already have an immune freeze immunity, just uh, take. I'm gonna throw up a new TP. So go ahead and take my new TP, uh, Beagle. New TP, All the TPs. Going up a new one. Click on the waypoint. Let's do library. Oh shit. Don't stand next to those spiny guys when they die. They shoot out a explosion. Probably dead Corgi looks like the kind of guy that will rip early. Uh, we shall see. He oh. might. Uh, someone in chat was just sit calling you out saying that you're probably going to rip first. Why? <laughs> probably the way you're playing. Or maybe the fact that you're a ranger. We'll have to see. Library over here. Uh, these guys have. Right there. What was that? The Corgi hate. <laughs> well, your name does say probably dead. Uh, we're playing with three other guys clap, who are pretty brand new to uh, Path of Exile in general. And it doesn't help that we're playing hardcore. They've already died, uh, like, twice. I'll take responsibility for the first death. Because, uh, I led them into a hacky daily and didn't realize it was a level 33 zone. And we were all, like, level 18. So that was bad. That was my bad. We're at, looks like we're at the night, a night at the museum here. You and your movie show references, man. There's a big unique guy there. And the giant skeletons, they hit like a truck, so try not to get hit by them. Back to the beach, so they say, right? Yep. It's funny, because... Uh, Probably dead Corgi hates the beach specifically. Unfound hatred, but he hates it nonetheless. But yeah, we'll see how far we can get. Um, we haven't even gotten to the rippy stuff yet. And uh, the other death they had. The scholar. It's a divination card. It's kind of like a. You collect the full set and you get to turn it in for a physical item. And the scholar, I think, is just ID scrolls, which is kind of shite. But yeah, feel like, you know, you. It gives you 40, so if you're running low, it's kind of convenient. Silver coin. Back to the beach. Lab is going to be interesting, assuming uh, we make it to the lab. Because what we've been doing with the uh, trials so far, Enduring Cry, um, the people who aren't confident in doing the traps, they just kind of sit back. And, uh,.
just have either me or uh, Corgi run it and uh, just TP them in at the end. But uh, obviously that's not going to be the case when we go in lab, so it's going to be interesting. That is, again, assuming we even make it there, right? Be gift. This is another side quest we're doing here. But uh, once we do this quest, that uh, quest giver will give you access to most, if not all, the gems that you can buy, which is quite convenient. Cool. So if you're missing that one gem that you haven't come across, chances are he'll have it. Haven't ran into an abyss in a while. Yurts. Thanks. Oh, wow, well, eat that quick. Poor Link. Poor Link, what? Green, 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 blue. Isn't that what you needed? No, I need green, green, red. Anyone need careful, it? careful. What cut? What base is it? Boots. Okay. Uh, watch out for Another bleeding. Watch out for bleeding. Keep potting and don't. If you're bleeding, don't move. He applies bleeding, so... If you hear that... And you see the red debuff at the top, that means you're bleeding, so don't move or you take more damage. Just simply stand still and pop through it. Gotten quite close there, mate. Quite close there. A uh, unique here, too. We need to get you guys hooked up with staunching flasks. Um, it's a mod that you can roll on a flask that cancels out the bleeding, so that when you pot, you don't bleed anymore, which is quite handy. You have the boots? Fox? Yeah, I could drop them. No, that's fine. If you need it. I don't, I don't need it. So the way I can reroll. You, you, so you could upgrade items from blue to yellow or to white no, to yellow. No, white to yellow. Can I ever upgrade a blue to something higher? You can basically undo the blue and make it white and then upgrade it to a yellow. That's how you can do it. And then... Is it like Diablo where eventually you're filled with all the uniques? No, you don't want to stack uniques. That's not a good idea, especially in hardcore. You want to have a balanced uh, set of, you know, your rares and your uniques. Why is that? Because you're going to need resistances and life. And one of the downsides to most uniques is are they don't have those things. I see. But they yeah. have other things to compensate. Like some of them can be build enabling. So yellow uh, is exile, the exile. Best Don't thing. stand on that ground. Please just run away. Just a created ground. Yellow is the best thing for uh, besides the big game. 
What was the best thing besides a uni? Yellow. A god tier yellow. It's basically god tier yellows and uniques. There's no sets if that's what you were asking. Let's see. Do we have to get all these pages here? Yeah, grab these pages. And then there's one more. And can you re-roll the links to try and get a different combination of colors? Yes. Or can you, you re-roll a specific You could re-roll the number of links, you could re-roll the links, the... the uh, or you could re-roll the number of sockets, and you could re-roll the links themselves. Provided you have you the currency to do so. One. You can never just re-roll one specific socket of a nope. four link? Nope. So that's why, generally speaking, if, like, say you have a unique, right, that you want to use and that you're currently using, and, like, say you get a five, five socket, or, yeah, five socket, five links, but you want six socket, six link, it would be best practice to simply get another uh, unique item, the same one, and just re-roll that one, because you don't want to, you might fuck up your current one, right? Ooh, uh, red, 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 or red, 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 blue. War plate. I don't know if you guys use blue. I think if you're using conch effect, you would. Because um, your chant, like it, it, it's very difficult to get six link. And you might run out of currency to re-roll them, right? And then may maybe you end up with oh, your last roll, you only rolled three sockets, and you're fucked, right? So that's why you yeah. keep an extra one. What's the uh, to currency to reroll? Chromatic orb or whatever you say? Chromatic orb is to reroll the color. Oh, we got all the books, right? Take my TP, go to the waypoint, and then click library, and then turn it in. Let's speak and again. Then we should give you another so gem. Which I believe we have everything here, so we don't really need anything. And then when you talk to him again, you click purchase items, and he has all the gems sorted. Where's library? The left. So we'll probably want fortify. Let's get that for now. Uh, both you marauders probably want fortify. You too, Calvin, so go ahead and buy that now while you can. While it's at level one at least. Let's see, we don't particularly, we need detonate mines, but the problem is that's a white, so we won't have it. Where's the library? It's not in town, right? Uh, go to town, go to click on waypoint. Oh. It should be there. Go with care, friend. Okay, let's can't see use fortify yet. 52 strength. Yikes. And which one did you say to pick? Fortify. Or, uh, I don't know what kind of rewards he gives you, but you could pick whatever. If there's any gems in the guide, and after that, you click on him again and click purchase items and then there should be a fortify support in the first tab. Bye. Yep, if you don't have it, I guess you do. Need a orb. Speaking of chance orb, it's in before taste the hate. Stash, or does it reference my stash? Uh, I don't think it does. Oh, and we'll put our thingy there. Happy to share my Get rid of our RGBs. Happy to share uh, let's my see if any of these are upgrades, huh? Not really. We'll keep this because it's four linked. Eh, I 
really. Not really. When we click on him again, what do we buy? Fortify. Did you get the reward from him already, Nami? Uh, the first time I clicked on him, I got fortify. Then... Oh, well then you're good. Oh, I don't have to click on him again. Correct. Only if you like need other gems from your build, he sells them. Yeah. You if you're missing items. gems you need, he's got pretty much all of them. Almost all of them. Off so you want to look through them. He didn't have... I don't think he's got greater projectile. Oh, GMP you get at, in the next act. Oh, okay. He's got almost all of them. Assuming you make it to the next act. Easy. Goodbye. Then we wanna go here. Grab this sucker. ASAP. We need our mitt. I need to get a shield charge set up too. Let's see, let's remove this. We don't need that. We still need clarity, but luckily, we've got some sockets. So let's set us set ourselves up with some shield action, huh? Fortunately, we haven't found a worthy shield for us. Maybe one that gives us more spell damage. You for said the time shield being. charges from. I can just buy that in Act One. Correct. So I should just like buy it from them instead of to this guy, right? Because he oh wait, these are they probably cost not much. What does it cost? I'm trying to find it. I wish they had like a search oh I could search it. Okay. Yeah, there's a search. So we want a red, red, green actually. A red, red, green shield. Orb of transmutation is probably my bank. Red, red, green. So maybe this isn't the best course. Red, red, green. I thought I stashed an evasion based. Guess not. You're right. Our strength is so ass, we might have to take a strength node too. Can barely wear anything. Good luck, dear. Let's see, red, red, green. I'm gonna log, but you guys can keep going. Could call it here, that's fine. You guys can keep going. Turple and probably help me catch him. Yeah, I could help you too. No shield charge in Act One. Uh, try getting one from either Nami or Fecal. They could buy it since they're Marauders. No red. Now we can't even use this shot anyways. Get what? Shield charge. Bye. It's a gem you have to buy in Act One. We have a See regret. You. Uh we're not sweating we're not sweating yet though. Uh D happens to be D happens to be our detonate. I guess W could be our shield charge. Right we'll wait till we get a drop. Cold pen. We don't need cold pen. What color is it? Should be red. Red. 
We don't need this shite either. Do you want to keep going or did you want to call it going? Doesn't matter to me. You guys can keep going. Uh. Do I trade with you? Right click on this portrait Welcome. and click trade. Let we get any more. Uh, tell you. So you uh, we didn't get any more. Say trade. You have to Return be in the same zone as him. Oh. Let's see. I don't know, man. Whatever you want to do. I'm down either way. I mean, how late's Fickle staying up to? Staying up till. Fickle. Okay. <laughs> He asked how late you're staying up. Probably should go to bed. Guess that's that, unless Calvin feels the need. Yes. To you're right. Grass. It's up to you, man. Your stream, dude. Nah, I think it. I think now is a good time to call it. Okay. Well, we have lived to see another day. We are in Act Three. Um, this whole like gem system is kind of flustering, man. It there's a high learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's you know, it's uh. Almost like second nature, but I know what you mean. Getting acquiring like the gems is kind of can be kind of a pain. I feel not stressed out, but like bothered by not having the right linked shit in my gear, or just even I can't even have the gems in my gear because I don't have the socket for it. You know. <laughs> Right, well, you could change all those things, right? Like, so Jeweler's Orb re-rolls the number of sockets on it. Fusing Orb uh, re-rolls the links on it. Uh, Chromatic Orb re-rolls the, the color on it. So you have some right. sort of control over it, but, you know, I wouldn't worry too much oh. about it now. I would start worrying about it maybe the next act. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it for today, guys. Um, looks like everyone's pooped. They're all POE'd out. So we will continue another time. We'll see. Uh, all that's left to do is Dominus and another trial thing in uh, the the gardens. But yeah, guy. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good night. See ya.